All right, I know you're all wanting to see what's going on with the CPU reball. Um, I get it, that's gonna have to wait just a little bit longer. I've got some fresh meat in the queue and I've got some opportunities here to make money. So rather than doing this one by myself, I thought I would just record a quick video. This is an iPhone 7 that was shipped here all the way from Norway. Uh, this description I have here says it won't boot. Here's what I'm running into. The, the screen that came on the phone appears to be the app, an aftermarket screen. Um, not booting. It would start to draw a little bit of current and loop, a little bit of current and loop, no image and no backlight. Um, he also sent this other screen with it. And with the other screen, I get image, but no backlight and it boots up to a welcome screen. So I'm going to be trying to figure out here what's going on with image and also what's going on with boot. I suspect what is going on with boot is going to be this front flex cable. I, I didn't test it without that plugged in. But first, let's tackle image and backlight. The first thing I'm going to do is use my own screen. These are the screens that came with his phone. I don't trust either one of those. I really just want to see what the board's doing. And I know that this screen probably gets an image. I think by now it's developing some like touch issues or something. But uh, this is a screen that I use to verify that phones get image, which is why I've got STS written on the back of it. All right, let's get our DC power supply hooked up to it. Hmm. Wouldn't want to turn that on now, do we? Let's go ahead and dial that back a little bit. We're going to set this to 4.20 volts. And let's go ahead and turn the power supply on, and we are getting 4.20 volts at zero amps. And now I'm going to go ahead and press the button that will prompt us to boot in one, two, three. We get nothing. Seriously? All right, let me push around down here on this here cable. Maybe it's just loose. That's what it was. And now we are getting, drum roll please, I see nothing. I also see no boot. Hmm, what's going on with this? Is my cable really this wonky? Let's just smash all over that real good and let's try that once more. Huh, seems like I ran into this before. Hundred and eighty. I see the current drawing, but I don't see no image. What if I take my hand off of it? But it just bombs out. Yep, bombs out. Well, that's either my crappy solder job. Maybe we've got some debris in the battery connector. That's possible. Uh, but yeah, I'll just grab my other cable. Nevertheless, this thing I'm pretty convinced is booting with backlight and or no image. So let's troubleshoot it. Let's get it under the microscope and take some readings with the meter, shall we? So now you will see that we have the meter on the screen. Ugh, that connector looks like it's seen better days, hasn't it? All right, let's switch this thing into diode mode because that's what we're gonna be using here today. I'm going to be putting my red probe on ground and I'm going to put my black probe all over this connector and see if we can find what is broken. I'm gonna start down here at the bottom right since I've seen one screen get backlight. Okay, we're getting a 0.56. 0, 0.0, we've got something uh, open here. And then our third pin over, we've got a 0. 0.5. And then we've got a 0. 0.4. Now, our uh, 0.5s are 0.4s. I see those as being normal, but we've got one that's 0L, right? What in the heck's 0L? These pins down here are for backlight. Let's have a look at Flexboard view. All right, so let's go ahead and rotate this so that it's the same way it is on the table as it is on the screen. And let's just zoom in and have a look at that connector. So we had normal diode mode reading, bad diode mode reading, normal diode mode reading. So the pin is missing. This one shows open line, open loop, whatever you'd like to call it. This is our backlight anode. So let's look and see where that goes to. So on the iPhone 7, we're gonna be looking at the back of the board and we're gonna be looking at this filter right over here. Let's have a look at FL3901. So we'll flip the board over and let's look right here under this little blob of stuff here. Yeah, this one was actually labeled not booting. Uh, I think this is gonna be a standard, really straightforward backlight repair, but there's something else going on that caused this customer to think that the phone was not starting. And I think it was also the same thing that caused me to see that it didn't look like it was booting. So let's fix this pile of crap over here. 
Yeah, and you can see we've got a solder ball down in here where this thing got really, really like excruciatingly hot. Let's just go ahead and carve this out of here. That's oh, already popping off the board for us. Look here. We've got a, a self-desoldering filter. So we'll just continue to trim back some of this rubbery crap. Yeah, the first thing that we're going to do here, we're going to switch this over to leaded solder so that the alloy that we have here on these two pads is going to melt at a lower temperature than everything else around it. All right, let's get that tinned up with some leaded solder and we'll get a new filter on it. So we'll add some flux. There we go. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, that's pretty. Heck yeah. Make sure it's switched over as much as we can. All right, so now that we've got two nice little domes on there, we're gonna drop us in a brand spanking new backlight filter. Let's see, if I was a backlight filter in the abyss of these drawers, where would I be? Ooh, here we go. Yeah. Huh? All right, so here's a brand spanking new backlight filter. I'm gonna be using hot air to put this in place today. Well, okay. First, we're going to turn the hot air station on and switch over to a smaller nozzle. And here we go. Let's begin warming this up. And let's see if I can solder this on here before my rubber mat begins to swell. There we go. We're going to float it one more time, so to sort of let uh, nature do its job here and straighten this thing out, although it looks pretty dang straight. There we go. Not too far, because we do not, I mean not, want to melt all the lead-free stuff around it. If we do that, we'll get solder balls popping out everywhere, and bad things will happen. So now let's go ahead and clean this up with some alcohol and a Q-tip. We'll flip back around and check and make sure we've got a normal diode mode reading. And we'll see if something will boot here with uh, backlight and image. I like the ones that we can fix and never even take the sticker off of it. There we go. All right, so let's, without delay, let's flip the board right back over. Oh, I forgot to peel that thing off. Ooh, that's a mistake I make. I wind up melting that thing sometimes. I mean, the sticker, it's not gonna hurt the component. Uh, let's see if we've got a good diode mode reading, shall we? I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna put my red probe on ground, and I'm gonna put my black probe right smack on backlight anode. And now we are getting a 0.37. That is a normal reading. So let's go ahead and hook my known working screen back up to it and see if this thing will boot up with backlight and image. Uh, am I really going to use this wonky cable? Oh, yes, I'm going to use this wonky cable. All right, so we'll hook this up. I bet it's tore. I bet there's getting to be a tear in that thing. Here we go. The DC power supply is on. And I'm going to press the button to boot in one, two, three. Boot. I bet we get backlight. Yay, we get backlight. We get image. Let's go ahead and let it boot before I 
twitch and let this thing disconnect. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Come on, mofo, don't make me look dumb. Hey, okay, welcome screen. When? We can pretty well stop right here. This customer's ready to get their bill. No, I'm kidding. Let's figure out why this guy didn't think his phone was booting. Because I wrote, won't boot. Um, so let's find out why I thought that. Tell you what, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put this in his housing. So I can use his button. And then I don't have to dig for a different power supply lead at the moment. There we go. And let's hook up the screen that he said was not booting. Okay. This is the screen that came in on the phone. I've got a suspicion that... Let's just hook up... No, leave that unhooked. It's got rubber in front of it. I got a suspicion that it's this top ear speaker flex that's causing his trouble with not booting. I don't see any obvious tears in it yet. All right, so now we're going to see if his screen will at least give us backlight and image. So let's go ahead. We will turn the power supply on. It is set to 4.2 volts, and we're going to press the button to boot. And one, two, three, boot. 60 milliamps, 130, 70. Come on, baby. Apple logo. Yay, this thing is booting. What do you want to bet it doesn't keep booting? I'm suspecting that it's going to loop. At least that's what I've seen on the power supply. Now, it's either going to be looping because of the front ear speaker flex, or it's gonna be looping likely because of the home button, you know, likely either the ear speaker flex or the home button. So let's remove the power supply. I'm gonna disconnect this ear speaker flex first. Okay. And now let's see what happens. Pressing the button to boot in one, two, three. I'm betting you we have a faulty ear speaker flex. Mm-hmm. Yep. And there we go. Up and running. Let's see if the home button works. Hmm, I'm not getting to click on the home button. That's, that, that's lovely, isn't it? So we're gonna have a look at the Touch ID module here under a microscope and see if we can see what is torn. Okay, here is the screen assembly. And touch ID more often than not usually winds up getting a tear right here in this armpit. And this one here, I'm going to say it does not look to be fully torn. Wait, wait, wait. There it is. There's a tear. Let's see if I can show you this. There is a tear in this cable, which is probably going to be our cause. Yeah, that's going to be the cause for it right here. So as you can see, we've got a tear in the flex cable for touch ID here. That's going to be why um, we don't have any touch ID. Now, I really have to ask myself, did unhooking that top flex cable coincidentally get this thing to quit boot looping? Because I worry that this tear could also be causing it to loop. Let's revisit this just a little bit before I call this one quits. Let's hook up their screen with um, their front flex cable. Let's do that. There we go. But I'm leaving their home button with their torn flex cable. I'm leaving that crap disconnected. And I suspect that this is going to loop in fairly short increments. due to the front flex, but I'm wrong. 
See, now this phone is actually booted with their front flex cable hooked up. The only thing that I have done differently here was I have their torn home button flex disconnected. All right, let's see if we have a working front camera. There we go, we have a working front camera. The rear camera is not working because it's not plugged in yet. So the front camera is working. So this thing snapping out of it after I disconnected the customer's front flex cable was more of just coincidence. Me moving the screen likely just moved um, this tear just a little bit enough to cause this thing to be able to start up. I suspect it's got like a shorted data line or something. All right, well, I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to finish the logic board repair portion of this. The very last thing that we'll do to it is just insulate the repair. Now for this, I use green UV mask. This stuff is like cement in a microscopic world. And we're just gonna dip us a blob of that. Oh yeah, right there. And then I will be applying this under the microscope. So now I'm gonna take my toothpick and use it sort of like as a paint bucket. And then I'm just gonna rake up some of that stuff on the tip of my blade like this, and I'll use the tip of my blade to apply it. There we go. So nice, shiny new backlight filter. After all, that is all the logic board needed is just a really just a straightforward backlight repair. Now, after that, we take and we put this thing under some really, really intense UV lighting and let this thing cure up. All right, guys, that is gonna be the end of this video. I wanna say thank you to everybody who has joined as a member. I also wanna say thank you to everybody who has decided to help support me on Patreon. Most of all, I wanna say thank you to everybody who is not. You are all the ones clicking thumbs up, like, and really just helping me keep going. So I appreciate the heck out of all of you. That's it for now. I thank you for watching and I will see you really soon. Have a good day. It's just marvelous.